Hello my friends and welcome to our blind let's play the casting of Frank Stone from the world of Dead by Daylight playthrough number one. Ah, oh, it feels so good to be back to another super massive game. I am so excited and ready to go and just want to say that yes, this is playthrough number one. There will be multiple playthroughs of this game as we try to explore all the ins and outs as much as possible. Uh, playthrough 1-1 one, one is basically going to be me trying to do the best I can with what I got. Playthrough number 2 is going to be let's try to make everyone's life a living hell. Uh, let's do all the bad choices. Let's make all the mistakes. Let's do all the bad things. Let's see the whole world burn. And then playthrough number 3 is going to be our redemption playthrough. And in our redemption run we will try to make sure that everyone lives. So with that said, let's go ahead and begin the casting of Frank Stone to die alone. And we're going to start, of course, a new game since we don't have any of the other things ready. And we are going to play on the hardest difficulty. Yes, uh, you will witness suffering, but survival is expected. You will not escape torment, but you may not, but you may survive. Leave behind all hope for survival. That's right. We're going to play on the hardest difficulty because no matter what happens, we are going to tell a story. And our story is going to be unique compared to everyone else's. And the best way to have a unique story is just let the dice fall where they may. That's right. We're going to begin where there is no hope. No hope. No hope. Every choice made, every tech action taken has consequences. Some will save lives, and some will result in death. Very, very certain death, I, I guarantee that. I sacrificed everything searching for it. A world within a story whispered to me centuries ago. Of a timeless power, infinite in knowledge. Voracious in hunger. The entity. A realm so close to ours, but always out of reach. Until I found him. Frank Stone. My key. My killer. I am Augustine Lieber. And I'm about to change our worlds forever. She says worlds. Interesting. I know nothing about Dead by Daylight. I've seen a couple of people play Dead by Daylight before. But this is really my first experience ever with this universe. What the heck is happening here? Almost like a werewolf or something. Or just a big dog. I like how we just assume that the most nastiest thing we can. Hunt for missing infinite continues with a very disgusting thing line on top. Is 
Cedar Steel Corp. Chapter 1 The Burning Maw. Cedar Steel Mill, 1963. <laughs> Oregon. Okay. Sam, 907, steel mill entrance. I'm assuming you're the night watchman here. I am. Or just you, covering the entire site? Oh, no. I got help. Where are they now? On duty? Of a manor. Merlin just goes where he pleases. Merlin? My dog, Doberman Pincher. Best friend a fellow could ask for. Loyal to the seventh horn sounds. Trust him more than I trust myself. Serious? I'm going to ask you questions concerning the underdog or security for the mill. Okay, so normally when I play this game, I always just try to go with my gut instinct. I try not to overanalyze these on the first run. Uh, I just say, okay, uh, what should we do? And uh, in this case, we are going to... Uh, Serious. I need to ask you a few questions. I'm yours to dispose of. Can I have your name? Thomas Jefferson Holt. Call me Tom. <laughs> Officer Sam Green. Tom, I want to talk to you about... I know what about. That missing boy, right? That's right. You think he could be missing here? This mill looks a big place. Biggest at all Cedar Hills. But that don't make no difference. Ain't no funny business going on around here. Not undermining Merlin's noses. Skeptical? Seems like a lie. Got to cover. Curious. Got to check the records. Uh, curious. You sound confident. And rightly so. Can I check your records? No records? The logbook, visitors to the mill, out of our shifts, that sort of thing. All right, right. Uh, well, gotta be here someplace. Is that it? Um, it's okay. Allow me. Discovery. I see. Question. No anything suspicious. A discipline and accusatory. Ooh, it looks like we unlocked something. Well, let's do that. Someone's been faking the entries. No. Who? I'm guessing you, Tom. Me? Well, maybe your partner Merlin helps you. Sounds like he's expected to pick up all your slack. It ain't like that. I don't do it for me. I just got to cover for some of the mother fellas now and then. The ones who won't sign in or out. Got any names for me? Well, uh, what is it now? Hank, maybe? Oh, oh no, 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 no. Fred something. Yeah, that's it. Fred's, Fred some. Come on, Tom. I'm sorry, Sam. I don't remember. Alcohol does tend to impair the memory. That what you come out here for? To give a veteran a hard time about his medicinal practices? No. I'm here because a child is missing. And every minute wasted is another chance gone to find him. Boy, you ain't gonna find him here. I'd know it in my bones if that boy were within a mile of this mill. Insistent or stern? Insisted. All the same, I'd like to take a look around. You want to do my job for me? Be my guest. Thank you for your help, Tom. Happy to oblige. Sorry, it's hard to trust someone who's been drinking. Kind of impairs your judgment. I'm not saying this guy's guilty or anything, but I am saying that there's a chance he might not know what's going on. And the fact that there's entries being forged is suspicious.
Find a way to the mill. Cool. Let's take a look around here first. Looking for sparkles or glimmers, whatever you want to call them. Okay, so if I hold on L1, I do like a jog. I activate Plunder's Instinct. Yeah, I see something over there. That's the king. She promised to take away my pain and away my nightmares. It looks like Tom is looking for his dog. Shimmy, shimmy, shimmy. By the way, in case you don't know. It's best to enjoy this game to the best environment possible. So what that means is turn off the lights, put on your headset, and just let the game, let the game's atmosphere take over. An open window. I can get in through there. And it just started pouring here outside my house. Well, that's one way to get into the mood of things. Window where? You mentioned open window. I don't see an open window. Uh, over here. Huh. Safety involves teamwork. Man, hearing that deluge of rain outside huh. beating against my Easy house. Definitely adds to a um Definitely adds to the atmosphere, that's for sure. here storage shed two The value of each bundle in this area is 147, 3, 137, 1425. And it's 905. I will not be able to return to this area. It's fine. Hello, what's this? Employees Weekly Rota. Friday the 13th. Of course it's Friday the 13th. Afternoon, 1400 to 1200. Harold Norris, Dennis McCann, Bobby Rivers, Frank Stone, and Lou Osterman. Graveyard, 2200 So we have first Frank Stone reference. Mudalkis is stone off Graveyard to pick up slack. Now you're just running three crews with half the manpower. Some fellows gonna have to double up shifts. Told the Lumpkin out front, no one's working nights for a while. Fucks. Huh? 
Employees personal record, date employed February 4th. Surname, preferred name, T E F A. Date of birth, 4 17 27. Current position, mechanist. Address, Singer House, Cedar Hills. Criminal record, one charge assault, robbery, Meridian ID, 513 56. Uh, sponsorly release. Three, five dreams, habilitation, sponsor make contact, Dr. A R. A male employee guy's job links to an endorser from a Dr. Lieber. I can't open this door. I feel like you have to go this way. Oh, that's what that is. Okay. I didn't realize what that was saying. We learning. Silent Hill would be proud. That's hardcore. The harshest flame yields the hardest steel. How would Kinsey test her? Hello? Anyone here? It's police. What the heck? Well, oh, that light just went out. Man. Way to scare the player early on. <laughs> Any back here? Nope. Big suspicious door. Heck was that? There? Sound like some sort of ooze or something. What's that sound? Take twice. The best safety measure is a mindful worker. Keep your pure safe. What the heck is that noise? It sounds hideous. Ugh. Smells like death. Nothing over here. Huh. Wait, now it's nine oh three? Jesus, hey, dude. Mr. That's ah. not Green. Sure. You haven't seen Merlin, have you? No. Nah. Yeah. Sorry. Ah. You alright there? Ah. Yeah, it's just. Jesus, you don't smell that? <sighs> Sniffer's out of commission. <laughs> Got a little too up close and personal with a can of mustard gas back in the trenches. <laughs> ah. It can be a blessing in disguise. Ugh. Gotta find out where it's coming from. What's it smell like? Nothing good. There was an upstairs area, but I thought the upstairs area was the way you had to go. So I didn't go that way.
Oh my god. Oh my god. What the heck is that? I wonder where you got to. Come here, boy. Dig name it. There's some parasite Eve stuff going on in this place. Sure like it if you two made proper acquaintance. God damn it. The heck is that? Ah. You put this out for him? No. It looks like someone else has found his way to your boy's heart. Through his stomach. It ain't possible. Merlin and me, we're a team. Who'd want to come between a man and his best friend? What's that? Some kind of wiener mate? <gasps> Human. That's an ear. Will you look at that? That damn dog. Think that belongs to the boy you're looking for? There's no proof it does. Came from somewhere else. It looks like a really big ear. Nah. Came from someone much older. A teenager, maybe. Jesus married a milkmaid. Hey, you know about any other folks going missing in Cedar Hills lately? Well, I don't know. Who would know a thing like that? Well, somebody does. It's gross. I think I came from that way. Can I examine the offal? I think that's the right word for that. What was that sound? Stay behind me. So, what is this thing? The grape? Yeah, what is it for? <laughs> it's, uh, for the furnace, I think. You don't know for sure? Yeah, I work at the mill, not in the mill. Hmm. Find someone to pry open the gate. All right. Oh, uh, hello. Gotcha. Cool. Some items can be kept and used later. Nothing else in the area, I don't think so. Wanna double check though. Take so poison aside of the footless bird. Always wanna double check. Okay, I don't see anything. So let's pry open this gate. Stand back. <coughs> Hate the mashing things. I get people killed because of the mashing buttons. Hmm. 
All right. Take this. Use the radio in my car and call the station. Well, where, where are you going? You, you really think that boy's down there? I don't know. But I got a feeling, and it's not a good feeling. Hey. I'm gonna need you to take this, too. Make sure the sheriff gets this. Oh boy, I don't know. Supportive or frustrated? Supportive. I need your help here, Tom. I wouldn't ask if I didn't. I just don't know if I'm made of the stuff, buddy. They don't call it a higher calling for nothing. You gotta rise to meet it. You can do this. Come on, Tom. You named after a great man. Hey. I can do this. Hey. I'm counting on you, Tom Hope. Thank you, Tom. Put your feet to Tom. I know I'm not going to press start to look at all the actions. I think that disrupts the gameplay. Especially for a first gameplay. For future playthroughs, it's not a big deal. For the first playthrough, I, I try to, I try to avoid those. Plus, I really don't want to see the flow chart or anything because that could have spoilers. Find a way to the furnace chamber. There's something back here. One a horse. I know what it is to believe. Through the forest, the path is clear and fire awaits for me. Damn. It's a maze down here. Oh, it is like a sewer system. What's this? See anything down here? Huh? Someone is engaged in strange rituals in the hidden areas of hell. Furnace access. That way, so let's not go that way first. Hear the music? It's freaky. Another door I can't go in. This has got to be it. <sighs> I'll lock it. The man inside. Okay, why would you find that there?
Ugh. Oh. How many human body parts are we gonna find down here? Uh, this place turns my stomach. The heck? Things just get weirder and weirder down here. A twisted man turned monster, the hillbilly. Is the hillbilly one of the killers in Day by Daylight? So that's like a reference. By the way, since I really don't know much about Dead by Daylight, if I miss something that's obvious to you, please let me know as long as it's not a spoiler. Goddamn small spaces. So if you're like, yeah, Flutus, that's a uh, that's a killer. Um, that's not spoiling. That's fine. I could go through there. My God, it's a saw blade. Ah, I totally Shit. didn't know what that was. Yeah, I didn't know what that was. I think that's how you do skill checks in Dead by Daylight. You gotta hit the arrow on the right spot. Uh, but yeah, I, I totally flubbed that one. Just was not ready for it. Now I know in the future though. And because of that, I lost my torch. Which means I'm not gonna be able to find any other items probably. Holding the X to move to the next area is gonna take some time getting used to. bad idea now that I think of it because I just cut up on my hand. Thankfully it didn't matter. Shoot. I'm sorry. This is not something I'm used to. I haven't played Dead by Daylight. I'm not. I don't know that skill system. Oh my god! Oh, we're screwed. Come on, fight Sam, fight! Fight Sam, fight! Where are I hit mashing? I hate mashing! That's a big dude. Awesome. That's one tough dude. That's one tough dude. I 
Maybe you should have kept the mask on. Come on, Sam. Save the kid. You can do it, buddy. Come on. Legend! Sam, you're a legend! Shot Frank Stone and saved the child. Yeah. Sleep tight, motherfucker. <laughs> Sam saw Frank Stone. What the heck was that? It's okay. It's okay. Okay. Is... Speaking of Silent Hill, this feels very Silent Hilly. None of this is right. The heck? Mom is like all scratched out now. What is going on here? What the heck is going on in your head, kid? is almost fully scratched out. Uh, this looks exactly like the last Silent Hill game we played, Downpour. Creepy woods. Only if it's not raining. Well, it's raining outside my house, but not raining inside the game. Can't run here.
Madison, what's going inside your head? Nightmares like that. Madison, Ted Pin Six County Road. The right side of the road. Country Road. I mean the left. Left side is the right side. There's Madison. August and Lieber. Is that a hitchhiker? Uh, stop, drive. Let's stop. I feel like driving is something I'm doing it with this run. Uh, hi. <clears throat> so, uh, you need a lift? Reynolds got a flat. Oh, you're American. Yeah. So am I. Okay. Yeah, so... Do you mind giving me a lift? Right, sure, of course. You can drop me off at Garrett Manor. It's just a few miles up the road. Huh, weird. That's actually where I'm going, too. So it's not out of your way? Uh, guess not. <sighs> Chose to pick up the hitchhiker. Fellow traveler. So we're both going to the same place, huh? What are the odds of that? <laughs> yeah. I mean, I guess it's not all that odd, seeing as, you know, we're already pretty close, and I don't think this road goes anywhere else. So, did you say you were going to Garrett Manor for business, or...? I did not. Oh. So, um... Where are you from? From? Like, where do you live? Paris. That's where I'm from. Currently. Before that, I was from Amsterdam, Dublin, Milan, Los Angeles, and Oregon. Once upon a time. That's cool. Hey, my mom's from Oregon. Well, one of them is. I always heard it was really nice. Or kind of a shithole, but like a really nice kind of shithole. I mean, I wouldn't know anyway because I've never been. I'm a big apple girl, born and raised. Bear 
barely even made it north of 14th Street before going off to college. Here in England? Uh, no, Berlin, actually. Oh, I'm Maddie, by the way. Linda. It's nice to meet you, Maddie. Nice to meet you, Linda. You too. Even if I was worried, you might try to clonk me. Ah, uh, sorry. Curious or apprehensive? Curious. Okay, so what do you do for a living that takes you all over the place? I'm a filmmaker. I travel a lot for film shoots and festivals and all the other usual Hollywood bullshit. Oh, wow. I heard that's a real tough kind of job to get. Easy to get. Hard to keep. <laughs> had to bury a few bodies, huh? <laughs> well, I've had to work real hard to get where I am, but I'd be kidding myself if I didn't also acknowledge there isn't a certain amount of dumb luck to it. <laughs> Come on. You don't just dumb luck your way into a successful film career. You'd be surprised. I never would have guessed this is what I'd end up doing with my life. Mmm, sure. Definitely seems like the kind of thing you just end up doing. I'm just gratefully pulled over. Got a couple of relationship points there. Hey. Take a look. I think we've come to the end of the rainbow. Chapter 2, in the House of Darkness, Garrett Manor, 2024, so, present day. This place is definitely a little too, uh... On the nose? I was gonna say a little too much like a horror movie. Exactly. Yeah. So, um, do we just knock, or...? I'm not sure. Oh, I... doorbell. This is not a creepy sounding boy, total. This is definitely when I was told to get here. Mm, me too. Hello? Anybody home? It's a good rule of thumb to try every door. No, oh, you think? Well, they're expecting us, aren't they? No way is it. Mm. Do we just go in? Why are you asking me? Because you're a grown up. So are you, Maddie. <laughs> <sighs> then uh, here we go. Apparently. Why are all the lights off? Beats me. Hello? Madison, entrance hall. Let's take a look around. Um, hello? We've arrived. Find Augustine Lieber. The girl from the prologue. Or before the prologue. I don't know. Don't really know when she was here. You know, before we were Sam. Oh, it's the, uh, the tokens we found. Don't go upstairs yet. Yeah. 
So, not this way then. Ah, shoot, what am I doing? I need to check upstairs yet. Ah. Gotta get used to those uh, presses of X. Ah, uh, hello? Ah, ladies. Hello, hello, welcome. Ah, uh, hi, uh, Raphael. Didn't exactly get explicit directions as to what to do once I got here, so. <laughs> yeah, um, same. I am... So sorry. Where are my manners? My name is Stan. And you would be? I, I Stan. Maddie. Maddie. Beautiful name. Short for Madeline. Madison, actually. Ah. Middle name Lexington. What? Midtown. The Big Apple. The, the city that never sleeps. Home to the most beautiful of women and fiendishly desperate of men. Madison Avenue. Okay, got it. A fitting name for such a lovely lady. Casual or apprehensive? Casual. Um, have you been waiting here a while? Not more than a minute and less than a lifetime. Is that long? Well, it certainly felt that way until you arrived. The front door was unlocked, so I wandered around and made myself at home. Till I found a way to really make myself at home. Isn't it kind of weird there's no one here? I mean, we were invited, right? Ah, yes. Well, one could write a book on all the incomprehensible complexities of British hospitality. Many have, in fact. Oh, Stan, this is... Lynn Da Castle. I am such a huge fan of your work. I, I am I, I'm at a loss for words. I am just humbled by your Apparently presence. she's very famous. Uh, okay, sure. Bruno Stanford III. At your back end call, only to call me Stan. Right. <laughs> sure. Truly an honor. <laughs> Truly. <sighs> wow, I didn't realize you were like famous, famous. Famous construct, and I'm not. Oh no, there I would beg to differ. Your modesty is only outweighed by your incredible body of work. Living and dying by the light of the moon? Transcendent. Blood on the brain? Mandatory. Forgotten flesh. I don't even know where to begin. All right, okay. Miss Castle, you are the quintessential countercultural cinematic icon of our times. I appreciate the kind words. Very suspicious. I just didn't expect them here. That she's wow, a part of the game. So you're really the quintessential cult counter culture icon. Wait. Didn't you two come here together? Oh, no. I mean, yeah, we drove in together, but only the last couple miles. I had some car trouble. I see. I'm sorry. I had thought that you were Miss Castle's assistant. <laughs> nope. Just me. Wait, should I be flattered or insulted by that? Oh, well, <laughs> I didn't mean... I'm just flattered you think I have an assistant. I'm sure if you did, she would not be nearly as charming as... As Miss Avenue. Your last name is Avenue? Uh, no, 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 no. <laughs> what? Did I miss something? Only that we are at a loss at what to do in the absence of our host. Wherever they may be. I guess we should keep looking around. I mean, why not at this point? Maybe our host has left something out for us. What Hang on while waiting for Augustine Lee. I won't bore you with all the details. But I'm going to go ahead and take a break here. Uh, because we're going on um, about an hour. Let's look at some of the stuff we picked up. We have the hillbilly. Max Thompson Jr. is a sight not even this monster could love. Twisted man turned monster. In the silence that hangs over a cold wind farm. One must keep the ear to the wind. Alert to the rusty roar of grinding metal and motor. Besa because even if Max makes no attempt to hide his approach. His vengeance comes with a brutal swiftness. Like how they have relic spell by the way. Artifacts. Uh, worker staff file, but the name is blotched out. How many works of the mill have criminal record like this? Symbols. A painted symbol resembling some sort of crude weapon. This is seriously morded art product. Is there some sort of art meaning here? There's some sort of meaning here. Uh, relationship. Uh, Surgeries have direct impact on the relationship between characters. 
Card status each character relationship is displayed when you access the relationship screen by selecting a character name. You can see the choices that impacted the relationship. So Linda. My stopped a car to pick up Linda from the roadside and showed interest in her career as a horror filmmaker. Okay, so these are our choices, I guess. Sam trusted Tom. Sam managed to free himself. Sam shot I killed Frank so and save the child from certain death. All right, my friends. Well, much love to you all. Thank you all for being a part of our blind let's play the casting of Frank Stone. If you like what you saw, don't forget to like the video by hitting the thumbs up button and uh, subscribe if you're not subscribed already. Tell me your thoughts on this game. If there's one thing I love to do more than anything, it's to share my gameplay experiences with you. And part of that is you sharing with me. Uh, let me know what you think. Let me know what you like. Let me know what your suspicions are, but don't spoil anything. If you play the game, please don't spoil anything. And finally, I need to give a huge shout out and thank you to a wonderful, amazing Patreon and YouTube members of the channel. Diesel Knight, Draggy K, Moose Gaming, Daddy X Day Off, Cleaning Day, Ianello Epitok, Tapas, Chinooku T, and Techno Trouble. Thank you all for all of your support. If you'd like to support me in that way, links are in the description below, as well as links to our Discord, a handy dandy spreadsheet that allows you to access all of our playthroughs. So if you're looking for Man of Madon, Little Hope, House of Ashes, or The Devil in Me, or The Quarry, uh, there will be a, a spreadsheet that will have all those links, and you could just instantly go to the playlist. I hope you all have a wonderful, fantastic, amazing, awesome day, and I'll talk to you all very soon. And until then, so long, and take care. Thank you for watching this video. Feel free to comment on what you saw and what you'd like to see next. I always love to hear your thoughts. But before we go, please remember that you matter and you are brilliant and you are loved and you should always be true to yourself. Never let the world tell you any different. Much love to you from your friendly, feathered, flightless bird.